Now to the dangerous and debilitating ice storm stretching across the country. Ice, snow, freezing rain, and frigid temperatures are now being blamed for at least 12 deaths. The storm stretches from Texas to the Midwest and into northern New England. Hundreds of thousands are without power. Icy conditions have made highway travel treacherous. Hundreds of flights have been delayed or canceled. Manuel Bohorquez is in hard-hit Dallas. Manuel, good morning. Good morning, Anthony and Vanita. This is the worst ice storm to hit this region in years. The rain and sleet have stopped here in the Dallas area, but the concern going forward today and through the weekend is the temperatures. The morning lows here are in the teens, and that means anything that was slush before is now solid ice. Motorists throughout North Texas are being warned to stay off roads for a third day. Those who have attempted to travel found out just how treacherous up to four inches of ice and sleet can be. Uh, mostly the overpasses, um, low line areas around water has been frozen over. But the problems go beyond the roads. The ice is weighing down trees. This oak crashed into Christina Goodman's home. We literally sleep right there, like right above us, right there. So if it had been a few feet over, we would maybe all be at the emergency room right now. In Louisville, Texas, at least 50 boats were damaged when a marina roof collapsed. The weight of the ice also threatens to snap more power lines. At the height of the storm, nearly a quarter million homes and businesses lost power. Airlines flying in and out of Dallas will spend the weekend trying to resume normal operations after having to cancel more than a thousand flights, stranding some passengers. The same icy mix that caused troubles in Texas is making life miserable in Tulsa, Oklahoma, where snow piled up and so did the crashes. Still ice covered and slow go here and very treacherous. In Arkansas, some cars were encased in ice. Parts of the state saw lows approaching zero. Residents in Tennessee were warned to expect many of the same problems that have hit other states as the storm moved further east. Here in Dallas, the ice has caused what was unthinkable to many in Texas, and that is the cancellation of high school football playoffs. Sunday's Dallas Marathon has also been canceled. That usually attracts about 25,000 runners, but many had issues trying to get here. The temperatures are not expected to rise above freezing here until possibly tomorrow. Anthony and Vanita. Canceling football in Dallas. That is drastic. Manuel Bajorquez in Dallas. Thanks so much.